All right. Uh, obviously, tough game. Give uh, Give Indiana credit. I thought they really played played well. Great, great atmosphere for a Saturday night game. Great atmosphere. So um, they were really, um, obviously, an energized crowd. Good team. They're playing well. We've got some things. We got to continue to get better. Questions. What did what's the post game message to the team after a game like this, where like Zed and, and Sean just said you played them even in the second half, but obviously for the last three four minutes in the first half blew the game wide open. What's what's the post game message after this? It's same as it's been. We, we got to look at those five minutes and figure out what we need to do better. I thought uh, uh, shot selection went great. It fed some of their transition, um, and I, I did not think that. Uh, we just had good execution on either end in the last five minutes. And, uh, you know, certainly uh, trying to stem the tide there with the timeout. Uh, maybe could even have doubled up in the last minute there. But uh, that's the message. It seemed like you had a pretty good plan early against Priest mm -hmm. Jackson Davis to get the ball out of his hands. And yet, <clears throat> uh, Jalen hit Shafino yeah. six of seven on threes in the first half. Where was the disconnect there? Was it? Couldn't have always been his guy coming for the double, but what? No, no, he, he got a couple in transition, Steve. Um, and um, I think, uh, you know, I think you've got two, two or three in transition. I think there was maybe one or two that was off of our post trap. Um, I admit mean, the first one might have been off the post trap, but um, we were quicker to him in the second half for sure. Coach, uh, I think no, no Tanner in the first half, no, no Gene in the first half. Any, um, Process yeah, we're just, you know, we're trying to uh, find a rotation, maybe a little bit shorter rotation this time of year. Uh, both those guys, I thought, did good things. I thought Gene played really hard in the second half. Um, so Bryce sitting him about seven minutes ago, is that just a chance to get him a little bit of a breather? Were you sending a message to him? No, no, no. You no, know, Bryce did good things. He did good things. Just, um, you know, we're trying to get some other guys, some, some plant, you know, I just got to ask about Tanner and Gene, and you know, then we're saying we're sitting Bryce. Like, yeah, I can't play them all. We're trying to get guys playing time in those moments, and that's that's what happens. The technical foul led to a six-point possession for them, and, and then Sean got you right back in it with yeah. two plays he made. But it seemed like there was a lot of frustration that they called the uh, offensive foul on Zed, and then Race did the exact same thing with the shove off. Yeah. If they're in no call, and then a nickel dimer on the rebound just. What was going through your mind there? You need to let Rob know yeah, that what was, was really happening. That was my exact point, Steve. Yeah, it was. Uh, I thought it was the exact same call. Uh, I did not love the call on Zed to begin with, and then I thought uh, the, the exact same thing uh, happened at the other end, and they missed it. And um, you know, I just I thought it was really inconsistent. I let Rob know that, and uh, that's where it was at. Both Sean and Zed talked about leadership and trying to show more leadership, and that's something you guys have talked about consistently for the last couple of weeks. When, when guys are talking about that, what, do you, what does that mean to you? What, what do you need to see specifically when it comes to leadership? Can you give examples or, or thoughts on what, what is lacking from that standpoint? You know, I think for, um, for Zed, it's, it's just he's got to continue to grow up in that area. It's, it's, he's grown in that area, but he's, he's just got to continue to get better. Uh, in that in that particular area, I don't I don't want it to come off like Zed needs to grow up. I'm saying he needs to grow in that particular area. Okay, you know, don't don't write. Oh, coach said Zed needs to grow up. I'm not saying that. He needs just to grow in in area of leadership, and um, I think he he's he's you know it's new for him. Um, I think Sean. I think both those guys. Their voices have to be heard. Listen, leadership is a lot about what happens behind the scenes where you guys don't see it in practice every day, what their commitment is every day, how they are in the locker room, the issues they're handling this time of year in the locker room, um, their commitment to, uh, to being an everyday guy and having an everyday approach, their commitment to the team, playing for Ohio State. And, uh, you know, that's an everyday thing for, for the best ones I've been around. It's an everyday thing. And um, I think, uh, you know, those guys are, are – are, focused on improving in those areas. In a couple of games in this stretch, uh, Rutgers, I think, was one, Nebraska. You, your team had a pretty good defensive performance in those. Yeah. Tonight, 8-6. Do you feel like there's still a lot of room to grow defensively, or do you feel like at this point in the season, maybe your identity is what it is? Yeah, I thought it was our poorest defensive effort in a while. Yeah, it really did. And uh, we 
we've got to do better with that. I did not feel like, uh, and give Indiana credit, you know, they're obviously playing well right now, but I thought it was our poorest uh, defensive output on, on the year. Um, so we, we've, got, uh, we've got to be better. Um, they're a good offensive team and they're playing in a good rhythm right now, but um, the end of the, the first half was really, was really just too much. I mean, are there things that you can pull from some of those other games that you felt like were better on that, and that you can pull and maybe show and say, I, I've seen this already. We can, yeah. we can do this level of defense. Yeah, I mean, so much different teams. I, I get your point. But just a lot different teams than what uh, you face with these guys tonight. You know, I thought Safino's ability to really make threes um, was, um, was significant and kind of opened things up. But, uh, you know, we'll go back and look at it. I, I you know. Uh, yeah, there were just too many errors, and uh, we didn't rebound the ball to the level we needed to. You mentioned that run at the end of the first half. It was pretty back and forth until kind of that final yeah. three minutes. Just what changed um, in those final minutes? Uh -huh. <clears throat> you know, I think some of our some of our uh, poor offensive possessions led to transition. It's kind of the bottom line. I mean, you know, based off uh, of just the naked eye, we just um, – too many poor, poor offensive possessions. We really did not play um, nearly intentional enough at that point in terms of getting to the line. They were in the double bonus. And we missed some free throws, but we settled for too many jumpers. And uh, that's uh, was, that was not good on our part. The, the way the second half started, the thing falling from the scoreboard, what were those conversations like? Were you at all concerned about continuing the game? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I mean, they said it weighed about 10 to 15 pounds. Uh, it fell approximately uh, seven feet from Bryce. Um, it would have significantly injured Bryce um, had it had it connected. Thank God it didn't. Um, yeah, I was concerned about resuming play. Um, obviously, I want you know I wanted the game to resume. I wasn't sure I wanted the game to resume. Um, you know, under these under these circumstances, I, obviously it ended up fine, but uh, that was that would have been a significant a significant thing. And thank God that uh, it did not injure Bryce or any other player for that matter. You know, we can thank God for that because it, it would have. What assurances or what conversations did you get that said that it was safe to play? You know, I made sure multiple times. I told the officials I was concerned about resuming. I wanted the game to resume. Obviously, I'm not saying, hey, down 16, we want to call the game. I, I wanted the game to resume. I was concerned about resuming it um, without them, you know, going up and taking a look at it or pulling it down and taking a look at it and determining that it was fully functional functional, and that there were going to be no other uh, issues with it. So, you know, um, obviously they're – their maintenance or their their staff, their game day staff felt like it was it was fine, um, but it was a significant concern, um, especially once I was you know what fell was described to me what it looked like and felt like. Thanks, Thanks coach.